Uh, but no, weather wise, things have been looking pretty good. We've had a few showers out there near Runnels. We got a pop up shower and the ones that we've got to the south have dried out a little bit, but we've still got shower activity from Quincy through Clorinda, Bedford eastward towards Mount Air and more showers working their way uh, near Corridon and areas to the east Bloomfield uh, on tap for a little bit of water. Heaviest of the rain though is from Oskaloosa eastward towards Sigourney upwards towards Kelowna. So that band of precipitation continues to march its way to the west and as it does it's weakened a little bit but still putting down some rain over an inch for Sheridan as well as Lamoni two thirds of an inch for Ottumwa. Metro came in at roughly a quarter of an inch so far and still have a little bit more rain to get through. You can see that pocket of moisture kind of disperses a bit through the overnight and reinvigorates by tomorrow morning. So still going to be dealing with some showers, largely that southeastern quadrant of the state through your Tuesday afternoon. Otherwise, areas to the north, Fort Dodge, Webster City, uh, going to be a pretty beautiful day up in that neck of the woods. And do have more showers that are going to eventually work their way in by late Wednesday. You can see Wednesday morning we've got that up near Sioux Falls down through around Sioux City. Uh, as far as how much more rain you can expect to the southeast, I'd say on the order of around a third of an inch to a half an inch, very likely a Tumwa southeastward. So temperature wise, though, not bad. We're in the mid to upper 50s to the northwest, 65 still for the Metro Grinnell at 64, Keokuk at 64. Winds have backed down a little bit. We're looking 10 to 15 miles per hour or so. And as we head throughout the day tomorrow, likely starting off with a stray shower. But again, the bulk of that activity tomorrow is going to be to the southeast. So areas like Ottumwa, even Centerville could be talking about additional showers. Afternoon, though, topping out low to mid 70s. We've got some peaks of sunshine, too. And depending how much sunshine we get, uh, could be a degree or two warmer. But uh, by the end of the week, more chances for showers. You can see a line of showers working their way in late Wednesday into Thursday. That moves through and we continue to see shower activity into at least early Friday, but we'll start to break that apart and bring in some more sunshine as we head into the weekend. So I know we've got rain during the week, but can't complain about the weekend. It is going to be warm though. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Dew points are largely going to be in the mid to upper 50s. So you'll feel that air a little sticky out there and you can see the hit or miss chances for showers. We've got along the way more chances for storms on Monday as temperatures drop into the middle 70s. Yeah.